set of widely recognized dinosaurs are the Dromaeosaurids, popularly known as raptors, thanks to the movie Jurassic Park. Although most of them were small in size, it is important to note that there were genera that reached dimensions similar to those of the raptors portrayed in the film. Before we start, I ask that you leave your like, consider subscribing to the channel, and activate notifications. Without further ado, let's go to the video. Among these genera, one stands out as currently the largest of the family, the Utahraptor, the giant raptor from the prehistoric era. The first fossils of this dinosaur were discovered in 1975 by the American paleontologist Jim Jensen. Interestingly, these fossils went unnoticed at the time, and it was only in 1991 that several discoveries related to this genus were announced. In that year, Carl Limwon, James Kirkland, Robert Gaston, and Donald Byrne found a large claw in other Utahraptor fossils. In 1993, these paleontologists named and described the genus as Utahraptor ostromaci. Interestingly, the species name, Ostromaci, was a tribute to John Ostrom, the paleontologist who described it as Deinonychus. Originally, they intended to name it Utahraptor Spielbergi in honor of the film director Steven Spielberg. However, a change in funding for paleontological research prevented an agreement on the amount of financial assistance. In 2001, Kirkland and his team made an intriguing discovery, a nine-ton block of sandstone. In this block, they found the remains of at least seven Utahraptor specimens, including an adult almost five meters long, for juveniles, and a hatchling about one meter long. The block not only contained Utahraptor remains, but also those of a possible iguanodon. Kirkland speculated that these Utahraptors formed groups and attempted to attack or feed on prey trapped in natural quicksand traps, where they gradually became stuck and died. This discovery raised questions about the social behavior of these animals, suggesting the possibility of hunting in groups, which has generated numerous studies and hypotheses on this topic since then. In 2018, an interesting proposal emerged to designate the Utahraptor as the official dinosaur of the state of Utah, originally replacing the Allosaurus. Although the proposal was initially approved, the replacement of Allosaurus by Utahraptor as the official state fossil was considered. However, the final decision opted for another state symbol, maintaining Allosaurus as the official dinosaur of Utah. The term Utahraptor translates as a Utah thief, referring to the location where it was discovered. Currently, we know only one species of this genus, Utahraptor ostromaci, which existed during the Cretaceous period, approximately between 135 and 130 million years ago, in what is now the state of Utah, USA. Utahraptors belong to the dinosaur family known as Dromaeosaurids, popularly called raptors. Among the notable genera in this family are Deinonychus and the famous Velociraptor. Within the Dromaeosaurid family, three subfamilies stand out, Dromaeosaurini, Sauritnithalestini, and Velociraptorini. Currently, Utahraptor is classified in the Dromaeosaurid family, alongside genera like Dakotaraptor. These dinosaurs coexisted with different types of creatures, from sauropods like Brachiosaurus to others like Hippodraco, Cedarests, Cedarosaurus, Turiosauria, Moabasaurus. Notosaurids like Gastonia, Theropods like Nedcalbertia, Therizinosauroidea, and Marthraptor. Being older than other large North American predators, such as Allosaurus, Utahraptor lived between the end of the Lower Cretaceous and the beginning of the Upper Cretaceous. It is important to note that Utahraptor is recognized as a dinosaur similar to Velociraptor but larger in size, with estimates ranging from 5.5 meters to 7 meters in length and weighing between 300 kilograms and approximately half a ton. We all grew up with the idea that most Dromaeosaurids hunted in groups, mainly due to various findings of Deinonychus near specimens of Tenontosaurus. Ostrom and Maxwell proposed that these dinosaurs hunted in groups because a single, solitary individual would not be able to take down adult prey due to the size difference. This suggested that group hunting was a viable strategy for bringing down larger dinosaurs, requiring collective strength. However, recent studies propose that Dromaeosaurids were, in fact, solitary animals, with findings of several Deinonychus, like Tenontosaurus, and various Utahraptors and Iguanodonts suggesting that they would gather when encountering prey especially in mud or quicksand, where they could get stuck. Kirkland and collaborators observed that Utahraptor was not as agile as Deinonychus and Velociraptor due to its large size, but it could still achieve considerable speed, possibly surpassing that of its prey. In addition to the concept of group hunting, the well-known Achilling Claw, or sickle-shaped claw on the second toe, always held off the ground, characteristic of Dromaeosaurids, was previously considered to cause deep wounds and prey. However, 
Recent research indicates that this claw was not sharp like a blade, questioning this assumption. It is believed that the main function of this claw was to immobilize smaller prey and assist in climbing, using the claws to balance on the prey. Currently, there is no evidence of feathers in Utahraptor, but there is strong phylogenetic support indicating that all dromaeosaurids had feathers. Microraptor, for example, phylogenetically more primitive than Utahraptor, shows evidence of feathers. Feathers have also been found in Dakotaraptor, a slightly smaller dromaeosaur than Utahraptor. Utahraptor has become a quite popular dinosaur, even though it is not as well known as its relatives Deinonychus and Velociraptor. It is the official dinosaur of the state of Utah and is featured in many dinosaur books, recognized as the largest known dromaeosaur to date. In 1995, Robert Backer published a novel called A Raptor Red, a fictional story of a female Utahraptor. It has also appeared in various programs, such as the BBC documentary A Walking with Dinosaurs, or a Jurassic Fight Club on the History Channel, or The Age of Dinosaurs on the Discovery Channel, and the TV series A Dinosaur King. And with that, we conclude the video about Utahraptor. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If I forgot to mention any details about Utahraptor, or if you want me to address a specific topic, please comment. Share this video to contribute to the growth of this prehistoric community. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it. It's completely free. Activate the bell to receive notifications whenever I post a new video and watch other videos from the channel. I'll leave some suggestions on the end screen. Without further ado, until the next video.